Every government is concerned when elections uh, are coming, uh, even uh, for uh, a long-standing democracy, let alone uh, a newborn de democracy like ours. Yes, there is some concern from the uh, security forces, from, uh, from the people themselves, uh, but uh, we are counting on the uh, uh, wisdom of the Tunisian people, of the Tunisian electorate, of the Tunisian citizen, men and women, uh, to uh, give not only the Tunisian people, but uh, the whole international community who have their eyes on our uh, experience. Uh, as I said, uh, it will probably uh, going to be uh, a bellwether uh, uh, a model for the others. On the 1st of October, the campaign is going to start and that everybody, we, we hope that everybody will uh, put aside their own uh, egocentric and individualistic demands and look for the big picture and look for the uh, uh, paramount national interest of the country. If the Tunisian experience takes roots and succeeds, uh, I'm sure uh, in Egypt, for instance, like uh, the revolution started in Tunisia, democracy also will, will take root uh, in Egypt and uh, also in Libya because, uh, you know, uh, the wind of freedom uh, knows no, uh, no borders. So uh, hopefully the Tunisian experience, uh, we hope it will be a success story and uh, it will spread to our neighbors as well. Definitely. The only gate for uh, Libya was from Tunisia. So uh, trade, uh, especially the staple foods, agriculture, uh, medicine, all of this never stopped. So, uh, and uh, now it's, of course, uh, continuing and uh, no, we, we are not resuming it, we're just re continuing the uh, flow of uh, mer merchandise.